Welcome to 3ds Max News for the month of May. During this month, Chaos Group presented Phoenix 5. It's a popular fluids and a smoke and fire simulation for 3ds Max. On this new iteration, we have a lot of improvements to control better now how active bodies interact with your simulations. There is a new thruster force, axis lock, and more extra controls. There are as well new presets available to create very easily one-click simulations. Now there is a Stormy Sea, Jet Engine, Ice Cubes, and a Speedboat. Simply you can click and drop, you know how it works, and you create it directly. Different existing presets have been improved with faster and better looking results, and it adds also a realistic foam patterns, as well for the first time a standalone simulation tool that you will be able to send things from 3ds Max to this tool to simulate without needing to open 3ds Max, Gregory Glesakos shared on a stack, that is a group on Facebook related to 3ds Max, these simulations while he was beta testing this new version of Phoenix 5. You can see the new foam patterns in action with the new cool water simulations. Very cool work. This month we also get an update from Final Fluid. Final Fluid is a new GPU based real time smooth simulation tool developed by Sivas Technologies. This new beta is version 0.5.0.34 and the news here is that you can create and share presets in a very easy way. Edwin shared on Final Fluid's page on Facebook this video showcasing this new feature. Ciro Cardoso shared a free tool to use a library of HDRI image for illuminating your scene with most common controls. It's using under the hood the HDRI OSL environment map in 3ds Max and it allows you to visualize and manipulate multiple HDRI images in a very easy way. You have your library of HDRI that you can load all together, and it's very cool for look depth to switch between different HDRIs on a very easy way. Remember, you have all these links on the description below. Cable Basher is a tool by Joker Martini to create cables. You need a spline and you have a library of existing cables to be applied, or you can create your own cables. Supports 3ds Max 2018 or later, and comes with already more than 10 pre-made cable models, and you can always add your own. And the tool costs $8, it's pretty cool, you can add different stuff like ends or intermediate elements of the cables, and customize your cables as you want. KS Studios has a variety of tools, including Project Manager, with updates on PBR materials creation in few clicks, Fusion, that is a parametric tool, a sweep and other tools, and you have until May 31, so you need to be fast when this video is published, to get a 25% discount on all these tools using the coupon code KSTudios Spring. Mark Bean updated his free Bifrost to Deadline Submitter. It's a tool that helps you submitting to Deadline your fluid simulation in 3ds Max. You can get it for free on a script a spot. On this version 1.06, it adds some bug fixes where it's changing some max script exposure in 3ds Max 2022 and 2023 for the PRT exporter interface. Shang Soeun created a free modifier based on MCG that converts any 2D texture, like a bitmap, on a vertex color. If you need to convert things to vertex color to port to a game engine or whatever it is, it's a very useful tool. Check it out, it's free. AXYZ keeps adding new 4D models free for all people that it subscribe to Anima All. Anima All is a suite where when you are subscribed you get access to all software from Anima All to animate people around the streets, on the stairs, um, they interact between them, and as well you can get all these uh, 4D models and 3D models that are very detailed. These 4D characters are real people are scanning 3D and you can see how natural the cloth behaves and feels. Uh, the hair, all the details are very well preserved because are actually real scans of people animated. And if you need people for your projects that looks real, that interacts with your 3D scenes lighting, for the people from Anima has the best good lacking people and has a huge variety of models to choose from. If you are subscribed to Anima All, you can get all these models for free. And if not, you can buy them independently. Let's start with tutorials and 3ds Max training. Domestica is a very popular portal in Spanish, but they have as well awesome English content. And I found great tutorials covering 3ds Max on crazy affordable prices. 
Here you can see an architectural visualization, complete course by Milan Stevanovic, that is an architect and 3D artist and will cover a lot of techniques where you can use 3D Max to create impactful presentations for your arc biz scenes. We'll cover all the basics to create a complete weekend house with all the environment and post-production needed to get the final image. I partnered with Domestica and you can use NBFX slash 10 for an additional 10% discount. But all the prices on Domestica, time to time, they have crazy discounts as well and you can get these courses on a very cheap prices. In summer, we get even more discounts. Flip and Normals will have a 40% discount in multiple products that I don't know yet, but I've received this email from them. And it will start next month, starting from June 2nd until June 16th. So you will get two weeks. Uh, check them out because they have very interesting stuff. You have this course on the back where you can learn how to create an asset in 3ds Max. Maria Gvari created a cool 3 minutes tutorial, very easy to follow, showcasing how he rigged a fake liquid inside a glass to emulate liquid moving around in real time. It's not using simulation, it's a plane with a spring node that controls how I always try to stay uh, on a flat surface. And very cool if you need to do some fast uh, liquid like this. And it's free, it's on Facebook. In Deep Mishra is releasing multiple videos on YouTube covering multiple areas for MaxScript, to learn MaxScript in general, from the very basics until, I will say it's a basics a tutorial, but very cool. He has already 12 short tutorials that are very easy to digest, and if you have never been into MaxScript, can be a good start. MoGraph Plus created a complete course to get introduced to Redshift. As always, they offer high quality material, and they keep updating these courses for free. In May, they added 11 new videos to cover all new features in Redshift 3.5. So you will be always up to date, no matter uh, when you buy this. If there is a new version, normally they update it. You can see a free sample from this complete course that in total is more than 15 hours. It has a lot of di different chapters like this one. And if you like it, uh, check it out and buy it. I think it's a good deal, a very complete course all the time. Our favorite section, 3ds Max, is only for Archbeef. Again, a lot of stuff this month, and we will start very strong. Marvel Studio released Thor, Love and Thunder official trailer. We know from Chang So Eun that post on Facebook that he helped when, while he was working on ILM, creating some awesome environments for this movie using 3ds Max, V-Ray, and Forest Pack. And yeah, always awesome stuff, always coming from ILM. Sometimes simple stuff is even cooler. Bardan Petrosian shared on a stack in Facebook this very cool, a small organic animation, half liquid, half. I don't know, that looks very cool. It's done in Typhlo. Also in a stack, Lars Tonsveit shared his rig robot with FK IK controls, complete crazy robot rig where you can change uh, tools from the robot and switch between tools and very complete. Sometimes I had to do something like that, way more simpler, uh, was some time, but this rig looks fantastic. And yeah, it showcases how Max can be used in so many areas. Now when Liu created this amazing animation featuring a Porsche 911 or 911, I don't know, lots of shots showcasing interior and exterior and animator character, Done in 3ds Max, Substance, 3D Painter, and rendered in F-Storm. Crazy, one of these crazy projects done by one guy, uh, showcasing how 3ds Max can be used uh, for a complete uh, modeling, animation, rendering, everything you need. Uh, very cool stuff. And let's add a little of animation here. We have this cool rhino done by Aliresa Akbari, done in 3ds Max, ZBrush, using Ornatrix and rendered with V-Ray. Animation is done with Cat, that yes, it's quite used as well. And Cat, I don't know if people here is using it, let me know in the comments. I know that some animators are still using a lot Cat in 3ds Max, and for all the people that I know that they use it, they still like it a lot. And from Rhinos to private jets, Chaos posted a complete overview of how Embraer uses 3ds Max, V-Ray and Chaos Scan 
to create impressive renders of business jets. Very cool image to check and also the process that they follow to visualize these uh, final pictures of the jets. And you can see how they have a final picture plus the 3D renderer and they look so similar between them. Very cool stuff. And again, one more time, 3ds Max is used in a wide variety of areas. And let's finish with this amazing character called Old Hunter, done by J. Young Bae, created with 3ds Max alongside Marmos Set, Toolbar, ZBrush, Substance 3D Painter, Photoshop, and Marvelous Designer. You have a lot of image of this character to see the detailed work that J. puts on this character. So I think that this month, quite an awesome list of different things in 3ds Max that reflects and showcases a huge variety of places where 3ds Max is used. For talks, we had FMX 2022 in May this year, at the beginning of May, and I added some talks during last month, on the last month video, but I forget an important one that was by Mike Kuhn. It's a 3D specialist where he showcased how to deal with complex rigs in 3ds Max, for that, when sometimes I have something important to say, don't miss to check out my webpage www.anbfx.com. I have an area called 3ds Max News, where I will post regularly everything I found there, all the news related to 3ds Max. So if you want always to be up to date, check this page time to time, you can bookmark it. And uh, yeah, when I found discounts, where I found important stuff, I post it there and then I do these videos based on this page. So I have everything in one place and can be interesting for you, can be interesting for me if I get some traffic. And that's all for this month. Thank you a lot, guys. If you like it, give it a like, subscribe, give a comment. And thanks a lot to all my Patreons that helped me doing these videos possible. If you are one of my Patreons, you know that I am covering uh, this tornado, the tornado destroying a city. Right now I have already four tutorials published. I will plan to do around 10 where I will be adding debris to add more detail, we will destroy cables, electric cables, trees. If you are interested in how Typhlo can be used in production, check it out on my Patreon, I think it's very interesting, I have a lot of tutorials already talking about Typhlo more in depth and other stuff in 3ds Max related. So that's all guys, thank you so much and see you soon, bye!